Austin Energy's early prediction of having all outages restored by 6 tonight doesn't look like it's going to happen. The utility now says they are not able to give a power restoration estimate. And some people who do have electricity are concerned about power lines in dangerous spots. Box 7 Austin's Angela Shen has the latest from City Hall. It's dangerous. It's scary. Andrew Holmes has a power line hanging off of the side of his house. He still has power, but is worried about the hazard. We have a toddler, so we're trying to keep everybody safe and warm and also not electrocuted. <laughs> Another Austin Energy customer says this heavy tree limb is hanging on a service drop, which carries electricity from city power lines to her home. She called 311 and was referred to the fire department because it's a fire hazard, given that she still has power. AFD referred her back to Austin Energy because because so far it's not sparking. They have yet to send a crew out to remove the limb. No response for Holmes either. We actually called Austin Energy and they told us that somebody would come out and 24 to 36 hours later we haven't heard back. Austin Energy spokesperson Matt Mitchell says. If they've reported it and we have taken that um, that report, then they are in the queue and we are in the process of responding to that um, in a, in a area-wide um, emergency as we're in right now. It's not going to be as quick sometimes as we would like. He says assume every power line is a live wire. City officials giving an update Thursday evening. They say more than 100 crews are coming to help with restoration. Full restoration will take longer than in initially anticipated. We understand that this makes an already challenging situation even more difficult. The problem is, is the ice and the weight. This isn't a veg management issue. District 6 Council Member Mackenzie Kelly criticizing the city's response, calling for a better estimate. And they deserve to know when they can expect their lights and heat to be back on. That was Fox 7 Austin's Angela Shen reporting. Mayor Kirk Watson says City Council has an oversight committee for Austin Energy to evaluate the response, and there will also be an after-action report.